Hey, it's the five Wing Chun advanced exercises. Number four on the list is knuckle handstands. Knuckle handstands, here's how you do them. A lot of people do handstands with their hand, and this is great. But if you want to train your wrist and train your knuckles for toughness, knuckle handstands is the way to go. You also get stronger shoulders and stronger back. All right, here's how you do it. So start with a wall to help you out, like this. And put your knuckles about shoulder width apart. And then you can angle them in a little bit so it's easier to have the structure. Or just find the angle that you want that you feel the strongest. So either this way, or it's 45 degrees, or 90 degrees, up to you. I like it somewhere in between. Then just slowly put your legs up one at a time. And get your legs as straight as possible. Put them together like this. And then hold that for as long as you can. Usually uh, 10 seconds to one minute is good. You can also put one leg over the other. All right, so that is your knuckle handstand. You wanna come back down, just do one leg at a time, just like that. One important tip for this exercise is you need to keep your back straight. So when you're against the wall, make sure that it, 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 feet are here and your body is on a complete straight angle like this even though it's on an angle make sure it's completely straight you don't want to have a curve like this or a curve like this so let me demonstrate again put your feet up like that you don't want to bend it like this like that have your back bent this way or the other way you want to keep it straight from your knuckles your knuckles all the way to your toes as straight as possible so that's one point to do this properly. A couple of safety pointers for you if you're doing this exercise. Make sure that you have a nice soft surface so that if you do tumble forward that you fall into something soft and don't hurt your back. Another thing is don't do it for too long because the blood will rush to your head and you might get dizzy. Once you get back up, get up slowly, take a deep breath so that the um, blood will go back to the rest of your body so that you don't faint. Hey, thanks for watching my martial arts training and workout fitness videos. I hope you enjoy them and use them to get stronger. If you like this video, make sure you check out my other videos that I have on my channel and make sure you click the subscribe button right here to get the latest and best training and workout and self-defense training lesson videos that I have. So I'll see you soon in the next video.